right. Take refuge in the Buddha and the Dharma and the Sangha, and the wisdom of my teachers. Uh, I'd like to talk a minute about blindness, about not knowing. If we think of a circle that includes all that we know, and then we think of all that we don't know, all that we don't know is infinitely larger. That what we know or think we know is such a small, pitiful, fixed idea. It may serve us well at some level, but we don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know all the factors that led to being right here. We don't know who we are. We don't know how things arise from the great mystery, from emptiness and spaciousness. We don't know where does where do they disappear to? Where does flame go when it's extinguished? Where do we go when we die? Not knowing, as one of the koans says, is most intimate. Because as soon as we know things, as soon as we, we know, we've got I know, and then there's this thing I know. There's a barrier set up. Not knowing is most intimate. How do we not know? Well, one of the ways is to have a, a silent, empty mind. A silent, empty mind just allows things to be as they are. But not knowing itself is useful because it is the foundation for curiosity. It's the foundation for movement, really. The way we, we human beings are, are made, we have this curiosity about what's next. We have this curiosity about how to relieve suffering. We have this curiosity. We don't know, and our curiosity moves us forward. Our curiosity leads us to look into things more deeply. Our curiosity leads us to more intimate connections with people. If we don't know, and we actually go into the place of mystery, then everything that arises is a mystery, is a miracle. There's nothing but really interesting things appearing out of nowhere. And the ability to watch them as they arise, and then to also watch our responses to them, to watch our our reactivity to them, to watch our decisions that come out of the great mystery, means that our whole life has a different foundation. There's a nice koan that the key phrase in it of it is, every day is a good day. Every day is a good day. And obviously that doesn't mean, you know, like it or dislike it, have a easy time or hard time. It means every day we have the capacity to learn. Every day we have the capacity to watch things appearing out of nowhere, to watch the miracle present itself. So may you learn to really appreciate every single day, every moment is new. Every moment is a miracle. There are no expectations in the universe. There's just the constant unfolding of life. So may you appreciate this constant unfolding of your own life, however that looks. Please visit our website at zendas.org for more information about our workshops, retreats, and opportunities to practice.